All right, hello everybody. Welcome to Real Stuff No Fluff. I'm your host, Angela Nixon. Today we're going to make an activity book. So we're going to open up to Canva. We're going to make it from Canva. Let's see, let's large this together a little larger here. We're going to create it eight and a half by um, eight and a half by eleven and a half book. So what we have to do is we're going to create a design. Uh, select custom size. You're going to change this to the inches. You're going to go 8.625 by 11.25. That says it's 8.5 by 11. Okay. So we have that size in here and we're going to say create new design. All right. So we're going to need a few little pages. I'm going to add pages here really quick. Um, just to get us started, I like my first page to be my title page. My second page will be my copyright page. And then the third page here will be this book belongs to. So we'll take some text and we'll go here. So we're going to, um, kind of shorten it up a little bit going to put it up a little higher uh you see when i moved it up you saw the little box so that is going to be our um guideline that's our margin that we want to stay within uh for bleed purpose and then we're going to also go to file you go to file you click margins and also you will say show bleeds print bleeds all right so we have our this book belongs to we can choose a different type of font, you know, to make it, you know, really, you know, young, like, because we are doing a activities book for some young folks here. So we want to, you know, play around with our fonts. Um, I like personally to use all capital letters. Uh, you don't have to, but that's just a, a personal choice for me. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in an element. And we want lines. So here go my lines. You can type in lines. Here's my lines. So that we can have the child put their name on the book, in the book. All right. So I'll put it right, right there. All right. Our next page will be our inside interiors for um, our activity book. So here's a thing that I have, um, a pet peeve that I have. Uh, when you go to create a Fabrica, everybody's going to create a Fabrica. Everybody's going to download the same thing. So you need to be able to mix it up and add elements that will not get picked up by KDP. And also you don't want customers to say, well, I already bought something like this and it's the same thing. So you definitely want to mix up the, the pages. So what I've done is I have a folder. We're going to go to my uploads. I have a folder that I created on my desktop and it's called Easter. And so what I've done is I've downloaded PNGs um, and uh, puzzles and things like that, that I'm going to incorporate into this book, but I'm going to mix it up so that it doesn't look identical to somebody else's. And I'm going to show you how we do that. So this book probably will be, um, more beneficial for children i would say seven eight to ten okay so because i have some complex uh drawings that i found uh for that age so what we're going to do is we're going to upload all of those pictures so there's about 20 pictures that i got from creative fabrica so we're going to upload at the same time so <clears throat> i'm going to start from the bottom of this because it's safe to say that that's already been uh, included. So we're going to click this picture. And we're going to take it from one corner. Usually I like to go from one corner to the other corner. All right. And as you see, it's a little off. We got some space here. So what I'm going to do is center it 
and I want to pull here to go here and I want to pull here to go here okay so it will bleed a little bit off the book but that's okay because of the type of design that it is so that will be our first page our next page because this is an activity book we're going to upload uh, word puzzles so we're going to go back to my desktop go back to my page called Easter and I believe I do have puzzles here so I need page one and there she blows page one and we're not going to put the um the solutions in till the very end. Okay. So we'll drag that here. We'll center that. We know it's centered when uh, we have this plus sign here. All right. Another thing that I want to do to kind of make this unique and different for me is I'm going to um, make it a little larger touching our uh, box within the margins here okay so we're going to make sure that's centered again there it is that's my favorite plus sign but i don't want this puzzle one to be the title um, i do want it to say number one but i don't want it to be my title so i'm going to go to elements because remember we're doing things to to, to make this book uh unique so I chose the square. And what I'm getting ready to do is um, cover uh, that plus that, uh, what is it? Puzzle one. I'm gonna change this color to white. Okay, I want that gone. And then I'm gonna go back to my text. And here we're gonna move this up by uh, touching this little plus sign here, cross. All right, and then we're going to say word search number one, like that. And then I want to stay with the font that I was using, Borzuk. And then we're going to make this just a little smaller. So I'm thinking I want it like 40 is fine. Okay. All right. So this already changes the look of what was out there. Um, and we're changing the look of our book. So here we have word search one. And you can say Easter word search or Easter one or whatever. You might have a title for this. But this is how you're going to start it off. Also, we're going to go back to elements and we're going to add a cute little uh, picture. So uh, one of my first words here is B. So I want to look for the word B here. Uh, always we want to click these little uh, symbols here and click free because we want only free pictures. Uh, free pictures have royalty rights. And so we don't have to worry about someone coming back to us later about a design that we uh, chose so choose a picture i like to choose pictures that the color changes when i click it like this okay all right because this is going to be a black and white illustration i'm going to make this small right in here we're going to start to change the color so this is white the brown would be black. The wings would be white. And we don't need, we don't need the cheeks. So we're going to make that white as well. So now I've made like a coloring book type page. Uh, you know, if the kids want to come and color this, they have that to do. So now you have your coloring book page. Now you have your word search. And then now you can go ahead and add another element, which let's see, I, I did have, let's go back to uploads. 
some mazes that I found. However, I didn't really like them because there was no solution. And I don't want to do the work to try to figure out what the solution is. So I may not be adding that. And I really did want to add that element in here, but it's just... I don't feel like trying to figure it out myself and then drawing a line to show the kids, you know, um, what it looks like. So, I mean, you could do that yourself, but if we did that, we would just go upload and you could also drag onto uh, Canva, but we would just upload and then we would do that. And then if I did something like this, um, I will make it large as large as I can within that box and we can go a little bit out of the box just a little bit matter of fact yeah we can go about that big and then I will go here where it says word search I will click on word search I will copy it and then I will say paste here and then I will just go maze one something like that okay and that that's part of our that will be part of our workbook okay if we want to add a maze here and and maybe you know not having the um the solution might be good uh it might be but i'm, I, I'm not gonna do it so i'm gonna remove this here and we're gonna go to the bottoms and and another thing okay so I went from the bottom when I added the first flower, okay? But we want to mix, remember, we want to mix this up. So what we could do is, since I went to the bottom for the first picture, then I'll go from the top for the next picture. And I'll just go bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. Usually I just try to go from one corner to the other corner. Put it in the middle pull out here pull out here all right so we have that then we're gonna go back to our upload and we can upload all of the um, other things all at once just to make our flow a little bit better I just didn't do that for the once again for the sake of time choose upload I want to show you another trick and let's see just upload number three as well okay I'm gonna show you a trick really quick all right so you remember we did okay we have the word search and under the word search is a box so if I take my mouse uh, to the top and then just run it down, I can, my goal is to try to select only word search in the box that it sits on top of. So here's the box. If I roll my mouse, click on that box, and then click, hold my, I'm using a Mac, so I hold my shift key. Okay, I hold my shift key so that I can click on the word word search. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy. Um, it's good to know your shortcuts. Um, you're gonna get around much faster if you know it. And for PC users, um, I believe it's control C. For Mac users, it's command C. So what I do is I go command C, okay? And if I put it here, Command V or Control C, it will land in the same exact spot. So I'm gonna skip a picture and we're gonna go Command V, meaning to paste, and it's gonna land in the same identical spot. So I don't have to worry about it being off a little, it will land where I need it to land and it will be centered. All right, so you're like, Angela, there is um, the same word, word search one, word search one. 
Well, what I'm doing is, this is the original word search one, of course, but I'm going to make this word search two. So I'm going to go in my text and we're just going to change it to two. And then I'm going to do three. And I could do this throughout the, it's got to be careful when you're doing this, three. So I would do this throughout my entire book. Okay. And normally two, you don't have to always group it. You could just, you could still put it in the same place without grouping. So I'll show you that too. So for right now, we're going to ungroup. Okay. So I took the box. I held a shift key. I copy word search. I did command C. Yeah, I think you guys do command uh, control C. And let's see, that's picture word search picture word search picture word search all right so then i do command v that will be control v and we put in word search for there we go so already i have 11 pages already and so what we would do was just keep the process going um, go to our uploads put in our next picture we made it the same size as this little margin box that's step one all right and then we centered it okay so i want to make sure it's i need my little plus there we go and this needs to be positioned backwards. All right. Voila. I did it. Let me get an element here. Uh, let's see. Carrot. Let me. Right there. Okay. Carrot. Taylor did the bunny, huh? And then I could put a bunny on here. Where was that bunny guy at? I saw a bunny guy. Let's see, we're gonna not like him. Nope, he won't work because he didn't light up. And I want to test some things uh too to see if we can make SVGs out of this. That'll be in my next video. He didn't light up either. Now, there's something I believe we can do if we want to keep this guy. I think we can go into filter and we can just grayscale him. There we go. We can grayscale him. And place him right there. Now, he won't be, we won't be able to color him uh, for the kids, but we could grayscale him. And then if you want to keep doing things like that and I guess you would grayscale this guy too um, but we could just play around you could change it out do some things but yeah we'll just grayscale him because this is a black and white book all right so we just do that go back to our uploads remember we said we're gonna go to the bottom add another pit oops Click here inside of the blank spot, add another picture, take it from one corner to the other corner, and stretch out here, stretch out there. Okay. Did we do that right? Okay. And now we're at the next word search. We go to uploads again. We hit the next upload. Number three, number three. So we know we're doing that right. And we're just going to stretch this out to meet the margins. All right. And then kind of center this again. Here it is and position it backwards voila we need a picture 
So let's look for Easter basket. So we need to go into our elements. Let's see, this bunny rabbit, like I said, I like to go with things that have outlines. And then we don't always have to, because we can do this guy. But we will have to make him like gray so that we could give him grayscale because he wasn't outlined. But if it's not outlined, then you want to get it where you can kind of change the color up. So we would go, this would be like a dark gray. This would be like your lighter gray. This would be uh, like white, something like that. So you could do that to make it, you know, black and white. All right. Uh, but if we could get pictures that it's outlined in black, then it could be more of a, a cartoon. Uh, we could use this or if we chose a picture. So let's let's just go to this page just to choose a picture. If we chose this picture. We already knew that it's not. It's not going to be, it has variants of colors. Then we would just go to filter and we would just grayscale it and make it smaller. Okay. That's how we would do that. All right. So already this book is good, is totally different than what someone is going to see uh, someone else do. And you want to get in the habit of always changing it up. So that people, um, you know, just don't look the same. You don't want it to look the same because we're all going to the same uh, websites and that is not, that doesn't look good when you have something that looks like someone else's and it just gives you bad reviews. So I just highly suggest you don't do that, you know. By all means, if you could change it up some kind of way, then change it up. You know, adding flowers, things of that nature to it. You know, it's up to you how you want to do it. But make it your own. Add elements that are definitely different than everyone else's. Okay? And even like this, me just adding these two elements, I could turn around, I'm gonna remove those, put flower, but I could put um, Easter egg, since this is a um, Easter book, right? I could go ahead and do one of these eggs. Make it small, right? Tilt it just a little bit. Move it in. Go into our effects. No, we go into our filters. Grayscale it. And then I go and copy it. Move it over. And do the same thing on this side. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead, copy this, right? And I could put it on, that's a picture. And we could just start adding it. So if something happened or I didn't copy all of this, so let's see if I can get all of this. Maybe I might want to move this. Sometimes it's easy just to move it, hide, copy it, you know, um, grab it all, then um, copy it. We could do that and then that will be every page will have that which is once again different than everybody else's and that's the goal that we want to um, get into or the habit I won't say goal but habit yes. so here you have uh, our book coming along really well I'm going to complete that uh, later today but next thing I want to show you guys I have, and you welcome to go to Etsy, I provided the link down below, is you need a cover. So I have covers already created. 
and all you have to do it's um i have it now at six dollars and 99 cents that you get eight and a half by 11 and you also get the eight and a half by five and a half and i've created it where it's just easy for you to um make changes you click the background and all the colors come up with these different little eggs and you can just make the changes if you don't want this bunny rabbit um, you could pull him out what I like to do is I like to duplicate page and let's say I don't want this bunny rabbit I pull him out right I'm gonna go back to my elements always elements not not photos elements because you can change the elements so I go to uh, bunny rabbit I don't know if I can say bunny rabbit what, what, what bunny rabbit look at this dude you know he's in pro oh my goodness he's really cool so once again we gotta go free okay so but that's okay because this guy is kind of cute here so we could take him and he could be my little my little character so I'll just I can make him larger I could keep him to where he's um, just uh, this size. And if I do that, I could add um, an Easter basket. So let's see if I can put an Easter basket in here with him. Easter basket. All right, we're still in our free. So we can go here, put that Easter basket there. We could put it here. Uh, we can put it right here so if we do that we want to move our ages to the four and we might change that because this is going to be a bigger kid book right so i'll put that here like he's holding it right and um there's this color that's in the bunny rabbit that i want to make sure that it's probably in here so this allows me to change colors so i'm looking at the pink so i'm going to click this peach color the bunny rabbit color is coming up so i could choose uh the bunny rabbit's color uh that they suggest or i could try to come in a little closer to the pink that he has um in him normally they do pretty good about getting close to that bunny rabbit so it's more close to his skin so i have that and then this go this gold here we would probably make it the brown something like that and then the blue we could make it these colors that we have so maybe we want to use this nice right and this green we could probably use uh the same blue right so i'm changing this you know right before our eyes and then maybe this i might want it to be um like a pinkish color then i could go a little darker if i wanted to fool around with it it's up to you or let's see here i might want it to be brown it's an odd color but you know and then this pink here I'm going to change it to being the lighter pink. All right. As you see, it's all, it's all becoming really, it's becoming really cute. All right. And then we would just change. You don't have to say my first. You could just say, um, um, let's remove first. You could just say Easter activity book right so here you have effects click effects i'm gonna i'm gonna choose that brown that we're using which makes this a little darker here and then we're gonna say um we're gonna copy the word easter okay because i want the same um font um we're gonna make it the second one um smaller and we're going to call we're going to say activity book activity book all right 
and then we're gonna we can leave it this way but I'm gonna go just a little smaller than that and then um, I'm gonna go back into effects and I'm gonna use a curve effect now the thing about it is when you use the curve effect you can't put the background the way we had it uh, before so I'm gonna have to create uh, that background uh, feel so I'm gonna have to go uh, copy again and it's right behind it I'm gonna change this one that's behind it to be that brown and then I'm gonna pull this up and just kind of give it just off center it just a little bit to give it uh, that background look and I think I might want to make him just a little bit larger center him a little bit uh, want to get those solid lines guys right there okay so we centered him a little bit and then we're gonna move this ages it could go here it could go here I say here and I want to say uh, maybe I want to say fun for all right so we're gonna go um, when you get this you could change this to the lighter pink or you can stick with the brown right and then we're gonna say fun Four. Let me give a little space here. Then all. Fun for all. And then we're going to make this uh, that teal color. All right. And then we're going to shrink it so it can fit. Or make this. Um, a little bit larger like so kind of goes a little bit behind him excuse me goes a little bit behind him so we'll do that there we go all right and then we could even give this a effect as well add a little shadow to it and then Let's give it that brown look again and let's put an exclamation mark here. All right, so if you notice, it totally has taken a totally different look um, than earlier. We definitely could still change this background if we wanted to. Um, I'm thinking too, I might want some grass. Add me a little bit of grass in here. And I try to find something that's similar to this grass uh, that I have in the background here. And I could add these trees here, but I'm going to add this grass for right now. I'm just going to make it smaller. Okay. And then we're just going to add a little bit more to here. All right, and let's see. Well, we could put him behind the grass, huh? All right, one more piece of grass. I wanna kind of overlap my grass a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to select all of them because I want to make them um, just a little smaller. All right. I think I want it started from here. Okay. Because I have this um, little tree thing embedded in here. So we're going to hide it to the best of our ability. I need one more piece of grass. 
to go on this side because what we're going to do is it's going to be a part of our bleed. So we're going to leave that piece in there, but it's just, it'll fall in the back of it. So, um, oh, we could take it out. I could just do this if I wanted to, but I, I don't know. I'll just do this. So, okay. Another thing I want to do too is I am going to bring color coloring book. We're going to take that out now and we're going to pull this um, brown box, position it uh, to the front, okay? Because we want to hide some of our grass here. Then we're going to take our basket, because I want it to be over it, so I'm going to position it back to the front, okay? Like so, then I'm going to bring some of my grass uh, forward. Like this grass, I want it to be to the front. This grass, I want to the front. Okay. And then either the bunny rabbit can be to the front or we can leave the bunny rabbit behind the grass. So I'm going to bring it to the front. Okay. That means all of this has to go to the front. All right, so we're going to have to move Mr. Bunny Rabbit out the way. Grab this. All right, and position it. Um, to be able to position it to the front. Let's see, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, how can we fix this? All right. Well, you know what? We're going to go backwards. Let me go put it back. Let me put it back. Okay. So, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, I'm going to take the grass, these two pieces of grass here, and I'm going to move them, uh, position them to the back. All right. Oops, I went too far back, so I need to bring it forward. There we go. And then I'm going to take this back and put it to the front. And we're going to put this to the front. So I'll play around with it. So now I'm complete. Now, doesn't this look way different just by us making some quick little changes? So now I have uh, my front cover. And of course, I would have to make the changes here as well. Uh, and then here I could put uh, the company, you, you know, your publishing company inside of here, uh, which is fairly easy to do we could do that um it's up to you or you can completely remove it if i remove it here i like to always duplicate pages in case i want to make some changes to get a feel we could just remove this right and then we just pull all of this down you know i did it the hard way right So we just move Mr. Bunny Rabbit down. Not too much because I don't want his feet cut off um, when we go to um, creating the PDF for this. All right. So we could do this. And then that way I'll have like make more of his uh, ear, you know, um, something like that. So this has to go up a little bit, just up a little bit, because once again, we want to do file, show margins, file, show bleeds. So I know where my bleed is going to be. So about right there. So we could do this. So now you said, okay, Angela, um, what's up with the um picture right here that's going to be a problem for me so what i want to do is i want to go to element because i embedded this small piece into the artwork so it's not going to go away 
So I'm going to make it go away by going to elements and I'm going to create, I'm going to go a uh, square. Grab me a square here. And I'm going to just put the square, uh, rectangle it over it. I'm going to cover that as well too. All right. And then I'm going to go and hit the picture, the color, so it can blend in. So we can do that, you know. And that's that's done. And we could just play around with it a little bit uh, because I made a copy. I would have to go in and, you know, bring forwards and backwards, do those things too, until this becomes... Uh, exactly what I wanted but you're able to do this I'm this helps a lot so that you can have an attractive uh, file for your customers to, to grab their attention and be like oh that's really cute I want my granddaughter to have this I want my niece to have it you know whoever to be like that's really cute and I'm not saying it's cute because I did it but I'm just saying you look at other graphics and let's look at Amazon really quick. We look at other graphics. So we're going to go to Amazon. Right. And we're going to put um, um, Easter coloring book. We'll just do coloring book. Like, look what's attracting your eye. You know, um... For me, big colors like this, you know, big font, big colors grab my attention. Um, even something as simple as this, Easter coloring book grabs my attention. Look at the word Easter just standing out. You want something. This he is risen. It's the, the font is not bold enough or big enough for me. And that's just me and a no knock to them because they're making sales. But you want something that's just like, oh, that's attracting my eye. And I've like this, you know, this needs more colors, more pastel colors. And they have a sale, you know, a review, I should say. But more pastels and also they plan, pay paying uh, to have the sponsor, you know, they pay for ads. But you want it to just like say something when you look at it. You know, this, I love this one. It's real simple. And see, like here, you can put for toddlers and preschools, you know, at the bottom. Let's go back to it. You could do that right here for, you know, or you could put for ages five or six or whatever. But this is like one of my favorite ones. Kudos to that person. But see, like here, this, this throws it off for me right here. Coloring book for kids. Like that should still be, um something bright right um this is okay it needs to be brought in a little bit so i get i get a little bit anal about certain things i love this and so you want to stay unified this it's it's all right but i will probably use uh capital letters because you know it's like the real nice ones they use capital letters and then they offset it with lowercase you know writing or what have you you know, so you, you need to do that. I like to keep my art where it's kind of matching. So, um, but I, I do like this bunny and I do like those eggs. But I would have probably taken a font like this, these two, and, and threw it in over here. You know, and I probably would have did something like this, um, in which you could put in your book, includes Maze, Word, Search, Staduco. I would have put that over here. So these are just ideas, but you will want to study other people's work and get motivation for yourself. And then um, with a template like I provide you, you should be able to make those changes. Because like, once again, here's the original, but then here's the change that we made together. Okay. So with that, you guys, it was a pleasure showing you guys how to make activity books. I really enjoy doing this. Uh, you guys really inspire me to to want to work. I mean, I've asked people to, you know, that I know, hey, let's uh, let's work together and 
everybody's not into this and I get it. And a lot of people say this is hard. I get that too. But with a little bit of practice and then you have somebody, you know, that's wanting to do it with you, you can get a lot done and you can start making money on KDP. And maybe this might not sell, but if you put quality stuff out eventually, you know, it will sell. It may not sell this year. Another good thing about these things too, is so you print this out and you go to the swap meet or you go to, uh, you have a yard sale or you go, you do Easter, you create Easter baskets, you know, or you go, I said, I said swap meet, right? Or maybe there's a vendor's theme, something that's going on in your local town. You take your books and you sell them. You pay $2.15 for up to 108 pages. You sell this for five, six bucks and make money on the weekend. Okay. So I hope this motivates you. I hope you get it. Have any questions, please um, send me a comment. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. But as I promise you guys, I'm trying to get back to this, show you guys this. I don't want you to miss out. So once again, love you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye -bye. I'm going to get it, never spin it, let it stack. I got precision on my camera.